To test for elbow extension, position the patient lying prone with the humerus abducted to 90 degrees and in neutral rotation with the elbow flexed to 90 degrees and the forearm in the neutral position perpendicular to the floor. The therapist stands just in front of the patient. Stabilize by holding the humerus and placing one hand for support under the distal humerus. Palpate the triceps over the middle of the posterior aspect of the humerus. Observe the extension of the elbow to just less than maximum range. Wrist and fingers remain relaxed. Have the patient resist while pushing at the distal end of the forearm toward the floor or elbow flexion. To test elbow flexion, position the patient sitting with the arm adducted at the shoulder and extended at the elbow, held against the side of the trunk. The forearm is supinated. The therapist stands on the side being tested. To stabilize, hold the posterior of the humerus in adduction. Palpate the biceps brachii over the muscle belly on the middle of the anterior aspect of the humerus. Observe elbow flexion and movement of the hand toward the face. Observe for maintenance of the forearm in supination. Resist at the distal end of the volar aspect of the forearm. Pull downward toward the elbow extension. To test forearm supination, position the patient seated with the humerus adducted, the elbow flexed to 90 degrees, and the forearm in full pronation. The therapist stands on the side being tested. Stabilize by holding the humerus posteriorly just proximal to the elbow. Palpate the supinator on the dorsolateral aspect of the forearm below the head of the radius. Observe for supination of the forearm. Resist by grasping around the dorsal aspect of the distal forearm with the fingers and the heel of the hand, turning the arm toward pronation. To test for forearm pronation, position the patient seated with the humerus adducted, the elbow flexed to 90 degrees, and the forearm in full supination. The therapist stands on the side being tested. Stabilize by holding the humerus against the trunk, just proximal to the elbow to prevent shoulder abduction. Palpate the pronator teres on the upper part of the volar surface of the forearm. Observe the pronation of the forearm. Resist by grasping around the dorsal aspect of the distal forearm with the fingers and heel of the hand, turning the arm toward supination. Position the patient seated or supine with the forearm resting on a supporting surface in pronation. The wrist is in neutral position and the fingers and thumb are relaxed. The forearm is supported on the table. Palpate the extensor carpi radialis longus tendon on the dorsal aspect of the wrist at the base of the second metacarpal. Observe wrist extension and radial deviation. Movement should be performed without finger extension, which could substitute for wrist motion. Resist by pushing over the dorsum of the second metacarpal toward flexion and ulnar deviation. 
To test wrist extension with ulnar deviation, position the patient seated or supine with the forearm resting on a supporting surface in pronation. The wrist is in neutral position and the finger and the thumb is relaxed. The therapist sits opposite the patient. Palpate the extensor carpi ulnaris tendon at the base of the fifth metacarpal just distal to the ulna head. Observe as the patient brings her hand up from the supporting surface and moves it laterally simultaneously. Observe that movement is not preceded by thumb or finger extension. Resist by pushing over the dorsolateral aspect of the fifth metacarpal toward the flexion and radial deviation. To test for MP finger extension, position the patient seated with the wrist pronated on the table with PIP and DIPs flexed. The therapist sits opposite the table. Palpate the extensor indices, the extensor digitorum, and the extensor digiti minimi on the dorsal aspect of the hand. Observe as the patient raises the fingers away from the table, extending the MPs and maintaining the IPs in flexion. Resist by pushing each finger down individually over the proximal phalanx. Beginning with the extensor indices, the extensor digitorum, and the extensor digiti minimi. To test PIP finger flexion, position the patient seated with the forearm on the table in supination. The therapist sits opposite the patient. Palpate the flexor digitorum superficialis on the vulnar surface of the wrist between the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi ulnaris. Observe as the patient closes her hand and makes a claw. Resist the middle phalanx with the index finger by pushing the PIP toward extension. DIP finger flexion, position the patient seated with the forearm on the table in supination. The therapist sits opposite the patient. Block the PIP with the index finger while palpating the flexor digitorum profundus. Observe as the patient brings fingertips up, flexing the DIP joint. Resist by pushing down on each finger separately. 